For over 25 years, existing conditions has created reliable, as-built drawings and existing condition surveys for the best architects across the United States. My name is Brian Eli, and we are here today to interview Tammy Hughes at DBVW Architects about the Worcester Auditorium project. My name is Tammy Hughes. I am a senior associate here at DBBW Architects. We are a currently 34 people firm. We work on all different types of architecture. We do a good amount on historic preservation, affordable housing, high-end residential, institutional work, commercial work. So a little bit of everything, which kind of keeps everything fun. This building was built in 1931. It was built in honor of um, the Worcester veterans who served in the World War One. It is this amazing structure with super decorative kind of Art Deco architecture. And it's been vacant for quite some time now, but it has had, you know, a little bit of use uh, in the past as well. When you guys came along, I believe it was uh, about 10 years ago uh, that you guys did the original scan and there were areas that were not accessible at the time and then since then we had you go back in there and actually get the structures in the attic which is huge because as you can imagine there's going to be a lot of loads new loads being put onto the building for you know lighting and speakers so it was very important for us to get all of that accurately i think as far as scope is concerned those are the kinds of things that have been you know evolving we have been actually using existing condition services for over a decade now, and uh, we have always found it to be very helpful when putting together the documents. And really, it saves us time as well because we don't have to go back to the building if we forgot to take a dimension here or there, which would always happen. So having the actual scan data is extremely helpful to us. It's always been the hope that this is going to come back as a you know cultural center where people can come in and for performances. Right now we're really looking into how to integrate technology and bring the building to the 21st century, not just in terms of um, how it's going to be used and uh, the technologies that are going to be incorporated, but then how do you let the building be what it was and bring it back to its original form while still abiding by all the co-regulations that we need to meet. So it's a challenging project, but a lot of fun. Because it was built back in the day, uh, you know, and people were much smaller. <laughs> so, you know, everything is a little bit bigger now. Uh, there's obviously ADA compliance that we need to abide by, which is very difficult in some of these older uh, buildings. And in theaters, it's very typical to have very many levels. So there is a huge drive to bring everything up to code from an accessibility point of view, which is very difficult in buildings like this, because again, of all the different levels and the existing structure. I think we've got a good design now, uh, <laughs> so I can't wait to see it, you know, built. It's been really interesting working with uh, our client, the developer, because they have all these visions of what type of performances can go in there, and we've been tasked with how to make all of this happen within the space. We still need to be very mindful of all the historic architecture. Definitely being inside the building and seeing the amount of effort that was put into all of the design. The light fixtures are just amazing. The ceilings, all the murals, you know, not just the, the murals that are painted in the main lobby, but there's actually all the ceilings are also painted with these amazing artwork. So just seeing all of that in person was just mind blowing. We are in the part two phase for the historic application. And we've been working really hard with the National Park Services to get our designs approved. I think we're in a good place right now. We're working towards getting that application in. I think definitely the building itself, it's a one of a kind, you know, in general, 
but what the developers are trying to do and bring into the building is very unique because not only are we going to try to do your regular performances um, uh, that you would see at any kind of theater but they're also trying to bring in this idea of uh, having this be an esports arena which is kind of fun to be able to marry uh, old structure with new use and uh, how do you bring you know bring it back to life i guess for the project at the Worcester Memorial Auditorium, existing conditions was able to provide DBVW architects with the best situational awareness through 3D laser scanning and a 3D Revit model. This gives DBVW a reliable foundation to start their renovation work and will minimize changes in design due to unknown conditions. At any point, they can refer to the scan data to see the precise conditions at the time of survey, whether they're analyzing the deflection in the floor or the condition of the exterior envelope. DBVW can make the most informed decisions for their project.